What's up everybody? 3D Theory here. This is vlog number 5 and it is July 16th, 2024 at 7.52 a.m. So, I just came in this morning. The prints are looking great. That error message that showed up yesterday or that maintenance or whatever it was on the assistant there has stayed away and uh, basically it's been cleared up ever since I restarted it I can see that I'll probably need to change out this filament here but I think it might be good for one more I think that might be good enough for one more but the rest of the filaments are still looking pretty good and uh, today we're actually gonna uh, work with the CR6 Max a little bit. Someone commented in one of my older videos on the CR6 Max YouTube shorts that I did, one of them, and uh, they're saying that the center is uh, closer than the four corners. And he said that the print had been, or the printer had been actually working really good up until two days ago so I got an idea of what it might be but um, these are things that I would do myself um, I've had it where after auto leveling because this thing auto levels it doesn't have any knobs after auto leveling um, it wouldn't work it would be kinda close to the print bed and so I would just auto level again and it's fine but then sometimes I realized some other issues um, might be present and they're really not issues they're just simple things that need to be adjusted but we'll get into that I'm gonna actually get these printers cleared out and started alright guys I'm just gonna take these off looking good awesome awesome super cool again it's got these little strings I'm always anticipating these little strings here I don't know I really don't know why it happens but it's so simple you just take it off and with the blue cutters I just cut that and it's whipped into shape very clean very nice all right now for these guys here these stick really well There you have it. Okay, and that is super clean. Really like it. These boxes are getting full. I'm gonna have to take it to the next step in the process. These are also really clean looking great awesome yeah these are actually maybe one left and they're completely full I'd say so so once that's done we're gonna have to take these to the next part of the process because these do need to go through a tiny little bit of processing but let's get these prints started so I'll start with oh you know what I always have to remember to take these out again I just like to use these blue cutters same as usual they come out pretty simply pretty easily rather sometimes they come out pretty easily and sometimes they come out with a little bit of difficulty but um, I'm wondering if the material used has anything to do with how easily or how hard they come off because I'm using PETG I'm wondering if that just sticks really hard um, while PLA might be a little easier to take off I don't know if that's true but um, might be alright now just time to take these off well that came off nice and easy I like it yeah this one came off way easier it just might be I don't know might not have anything to do with PETG but uh, funny thing is yesterday 
when uh, switching out for a brand new spool of filament when I came here to unload it said PLA so I switched it back uh, to PETG down here so that was kind of strange but again I'm glad I caught it and uh, yeah I switched it out got the brand new spool PETG but let's get these started that's the left that's the right and down here left and right all right wait for all the jingles and last but not least <laughs> there you go um, so someone had commented which is a really cool thing someone had commented that uh, see how all these lights turn on whenever you start a print so apparently with the new firmware update it remembers that you turn them off and so they don't turn on with every print which is super cool which I love because having to turn these on and off all the time, eh, I don't like that quite. <laughs> I don't like that very much. But uh, to have them off all the time, I appreciate that. So I got to figure out how to connect these to 2.4 gigahertz, a Wi-Fi, and uh, hopefully I can get these things updated. And I think that. Um, assistant will be back to looking like that one that says okay which will be really nice but yeah I'm going to turn these lights off I don't know if you guys saw my YouTube short yesterday but uh, this is that warped plate that I uh, put outside for three days I basically came back after the first day I was at nighttime and I picked it up and I looked at it and it was still straight and I was so happy to see that PETG holds up under direct peak summer California summer heat direct sunlight so second day I did the same thing I came in uh, after a day of letting this sit outside and I had put it on the edge like this so it gives it a chance to warp and droop and it didn't only after the third day at night that I see it slightly warped and it's kinda hard to see but you can I mean you can see it that is that is warped but it's so slight when uh, I had put PLA out and it wasn't even under direct sunlight it really warped so that's why I like PETG. Um, another cool property about PETG is that it's more flexible than PLA so it won't just snap because it has some give so that's that's good that's also a good property about PETG I was always afraid of using PETG because you know there's like a whole process of how you should do it stringing whatnot um, but nowadays like I really didn't have to go through a whole lot of testing uh, especially with these machines like it was literally just choose PETG and I trusted it I said you know what instead of doing my own tweaks let me just trust the settings on these bamboo labs with PETG and man did it work and um, I don't use any sort of special filament these are just generic PETG uh, there it's like a no-name brand um, but they produce really good quality prints they're very strong so this was actually printed out on the uh, CR6 Max oh, I'm sorry the CR10 SE and uh, it had printed too close to the print bed and it just looked ugly and I, I couldn't let myself go th let this go so my own personal QC I said nope 
this is not the quality I want and so I didn't send it through but it still was a functioning piece it just looked ugly all right let's get to talking about the CR6 Max so I'm gonna turn it on here I love this printer it's huge if you can see my hand is this thing not plugged in oh no it's not plugged in all right let's give it another all right there you have it it's turning on yeah if you see my hand this thing is massive like really really big it's slow but it does a great job um, and having two uh, two of these bars here to bring this back and forth it's just super it's needed the CR 10 s5 just had one and it was terrible and look at the motor back there it's a big motor too one thing about build volume I wanted to just mention as I was talking about the CR 6 max the CR 10 se versus the bamboo labs a1 the bamboo labs has a slightly bigger print volume here and uh, it's noticeable the CR 10 se is smaller in its print volume I think maybe it, it can print taller but on the bamboo lab it can print wider so that's just one thing I wanted to mention about that okay so now to the CR6 Max now to the person who was commenting and asking uh, how they can fix their nozzle being too close to the top or too close in the center as opposed to the edges and it happened recently so it's so it's not like a brand new printer that he bought and it's right off right out the box it's having issues so um, I wouldn't say it's a warped print bed I've had a warped print bed with uh, Creality and here's the old one in this box actually that's warped and it was brand new so they sent me a new print print bed a glass print bed uh, but I wouldn't say it's that and uh, you know what before I go on I uh, do want to say uh, to that gentleman that please contact Creality Support and follow their instructions right here I'm just talking about what I would do if that was my printer and how I would go about doing it so it's just a hypothetical situation and just steps I would take myself if it was my printer that was was having that issue but the advice you should take the guidance you should take is from Creality themselves so contact Creality support on their website so first thing I'll do is I'll just do a simple re-leveling so you just go to level auto level and it does the re-leveling and then I'll start another print if it happens again the issue you're having then I'll check my belt tensions and uh, if they're loose you might want to tighten them by by turning these make sure make sure that both of these belts are equally tight you you don't want one being tighter while the other one is loose so do your best to make sure they're tight I like to check up front here and then I also like to go down here and see how they feel and make sure they feel equal um, but again the, the tension I usually feel it towards the front here same with this one I like to feel the bottom because there's like a little bit of a um, little bit of a gap right here let me see if I can get it yep and it kind of gives you a chance to feel its tension so I like to feel that there and then obviously you tighten it from this knob or loosen it and then obviously do another auto leveling right there and then give it a try and if that doesn't work uh, what I would do is I will take off this print this um, glass bed by turning this open and that open and they actually give you little notches here if you can see it on the bottom where the where the metal bed kind of curves in so you can lift up but I don't want to take mine out now and uh, you'd lift it up and take it out be very careful uh, with it and then I'll grab some tape which I'm kind of having a hard time finding 
in my section here because this isn't here we go this is the tape i'm looking for so i'd cut a strip of this tape into a square and then i'll place it here cut another one place it here cut another one place it there cut another one place it there because if you're if the center of your bed is the highest point then putting that tape there should raise up the corners um, in an equal way and still if it's happening again just put another piece of tape over those and then try releveling again and if it, do it does it again rinse and repeat so that's what I got for that but again take Creality's advice contact Creality support this is just things that I would hypothetically do if it hypothetically was on my machine as for real life this printer has been so good to me. I really love it. I have, the, <laughs> if I can say I've had one issue, and it was a non-issue again, is that there's a fan down here, and when I turn it on, it makes this loud, horrible noise for maybe 10 seconds, five seconds. And then I'll just give this a tap, and it'll go away. It just needs to be warmed up and it hap it's not even happening anymore as you can see it's been a great printer just a massive print volume and they do great jobs and yeah cr6 max all right guys that about does it for today thank you for joining me until next time peace love and joy